Today we're going to start learning something called JavaScript, which is one of the basic programming languages you want to learn if you want to become a good front-end developer. Now JavaScript is something that goes together with HTML and CSS, which is something you should know by now. So if you don't know HTML and CSS, I recommend you guys go back and learn about it first before you start learning about JavaScript. Now, to give you guys an understanding about what JavaScript actually does, because I remember back from when I was studying how to become a web developer, a lot of people questioned what exactly JavaScript could do inside a website. So the very basic way to explain it is that when you learn HTML, it is basically when you put objects inside a website, actual physical things, well, digital physical things, and CSS is what determines how these things should look like or how they should be placed inside a website. And JavaScript is what determines how the behavior of these things are gonna be like meaning that if I were to do something inside the website, whether it being clicking or scrolling or moving my mouse cursor over something, then JavaScript tells the website that it has to do something when the user does that specific thing, you know, any kind of input. Now, JavaScript should not be confused with PHP uh, because JavaScript is front-end only, which means that whenever you do something with JavaScript that makes changes to the website, actual physical changes, then the changes are not going to remain unless you have PHP involved into it. PHP is a way to make a website more interactive by actually making the website remember stuff. And JavaScript is simply a way to change behavior on a website. Now, for the next couple of episodes, we're going to be talking about some of the basic principles of JavaScript. And JavaScript is very different from HTML and CSS, not just in the coding language, but also in the way we're going to use it because HTML and CSS has kind of a similar way that it works. Um, it's kind of hard to explain when you haven't actually done JavaScript before. So in the next couple of episodes, I'm going to try to show you guys maybe a couple of examples of JavaScript, and then we're going to start learning about them and actually learning how to do JavaScript from beginners to advanced. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction here. And I'll see you guys next time.